They don't need that, right? What he does is a basketball player right now. He doesn't shoot particularly well anymore. They need somebody that can shoot well. They don't really have that. They need somebody that can probably defend. But can't you go get all that stuff? M- maybe, maybe. I'm just, but I'm talking about Chris Paul and what? Do, what are you actually getting? I understand it's not expensive. I, I understand that, and that's probably that it's cheap might be part of the value as well. But what are you actually getting? I don't. I don't see the the benefit. Bass just purely from I'll a basketball you. standpoint. I, I'll tell you. I think what you're getting is. You're in the playoffs. It's game six. Critical situations. Yeah, somebody that's been there, has done it, um, can still find ways to contribute in some can shape, he? way, or form. Can he? Did can he? dish he AD really the ball? Year. Can dish Braun the ball? Can LeBron has the ball in his hand at the end of games. And, and, and every time they've tried to play with LeBron off ball, it really hasn't been successful. Yeah, but I, I think, you know. And that's but, not just but, the Lakers. That's LeBron teams. I, I know, but style. I think this is also his 21st season in the NBA. I, I get you. And there were also plenty of times where it's like, yeah, I don't know if I want LeBron just dribbling the ball 25 feet away from the basket and then and, and shooting a 24-footer. What you want. What I want is LeBron to have the ball and make a decision I, I, because I'm with you he on does that. that. But what he does is what he's going to do. And you got – this This is – not. They're not similar players, but they do one thing that's similar. Russell Westbrook needed the ball in his hands to be the best version of Russell Westbrook. So does yep. Chris Paul. At the end of tight games, the ball is in LeBron James's hand. So the scenario that you just painted, somebody is doing a thing that they're not the best at, right? Somebody is doing the thing that isn't their strong suit. And, and Chris Paul, five years ago, it's a totally different conversation. But this version of this, he, he's, I don't want to say he's just a guy, but he's damn near just a guy. I, I guess this is, this is my biggest selling point. You don't have to give up anything. I, that, I guess that's the only thing for me that that. But it's, if I'm offering you my junky old car that you just want to have because you can have it. No, let me let me give you an example. I forgot a couple times during the playoffs um, when Derek White hit the shot against Miami, mm-hmm. Game Six in Miami, mm-hmm. and they're doing the celebration. I saw Blake Griffin in the celebration, right? And I'm like, wow, I forgot. I forgot about Blake Griffin. I forgot he's even on that team. I forgot all. So you of want that. him as a mascot. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that... Because that's what Blake Griffin was. No, no, but what I'm saying is that Blake Griffin contributed zero to the NBA this year. Right. That wasn't the case with Chris Paul. That's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that I know what you're referring to of, Al, he's 38, what is he going to do, all this stuff. If I don't have to do... I could still go after the shooters that you're talking about. I could still go after other players. I could still have D'Angelo Russell on the team hypothetically and use him as a chip later to go trade. I could still do all that. Chris Paul's not costing me a thing. If Chris Paul was costing me $5, then that's different. But he's not costing anything. That's that's my only pitch. All right, Lakers.